Yo guys, I'm Fast Fingers, and welcome to this tutorial today where I show you how to get a free set of legendary Netrunner armor. Also, I'd just like to say that I've got a Discord and Facebook and Twitter all set up that I've had for quite a while. So the links are down below in the description if you want to go check them out, you're more than welcome to. But for now, let's get into the video. So the first item of clothing that we're going to be looking at is the anti-surge ice protected net running info visor. As you can see it looks really cool, it has like an animation on the front of it. Right let's get into the location. So it's the very south of the Badlands here, there is a fast point right there where, next to it which you uh, can go to if you don't want to you know, drive down there. And all you need to do is basically go down the road about 100 meters then turn north into the into the wasteland and you'll see the smoke coming up off this uh, container that's clearly come down from space and there you'll have the anti-surge ice protected net runner info visor there is two of them in the container also with some other stuff Now you can see that I took the rest of the stuff out of the container apart from the two items that the improvisers and I ran away and this is this is to uh, change the stats on them so for a face item the maximum you can have is three expansion slots and these are two and I think the other one had a one so I ran away just back to the road and then came back again and you'll notice that they've changed the stats so I did this probably about 10 times maybe it only took me five minutes and then I got the one with three expansion slots because that's the maximum you can have on a face item So after uh, adding the armadillo mod and a bully mod, I got an armor rating of 529 for this item, which is pretty good. I always put at least one bully mod into my build just to up that crit chance. So the next item that we're going to look at is the heat resistant hybrid weave net runner suit. So this is the location that you need to go to. I'm not sure what the part of the town it is. It is, oh, it's in Haywood and it's in the southwest side of it. And that's the fast travel point that you need to go to. And once you've got out of the fast travel, you just turn to the left, go down these steps here, up to the vending machines, then take a left and down the industrial stairs past the fire on the right hand side and you'll see this big pipe all you need to do is follow this pipe round until you see this corrugated iron hut and then you just obviously go to the other end you need to duck down for this and go into the far back room and you'll see a net runner there and he'll have the uh, the suit on him again I went away and th this one took about 15 to 20 times so it took me about 10 minutes to actually get the one that I wanted with the stats with the, with the expansion slots and just be careful running up and down on that uh, scrap outside I did die a few times but the armor rating is 1140 with four expansion slots of epic armadillo and again that is fully uh, upgraded so the next item we're going to be looking at is the Dura Membrane Net Runner Pants. These are really cool, these. Not a lot of people like them on YouTube from what I've seen, but I really like them. I think they fit it really well, the suit. They have like the belts around the top and the chain hanging down. Makes it a little different and a bit more interesting. So again, we're going to uh, the top end of the map. In fact, it's very near where you go to get Smasher's, uh, Smasher's secret room. And then you just want to turn right out of the fast travel point. Take your first left up the hill. And then keep going straight forward. 
you'll see the tower with the 12 written on it at the top and then you just keep going towards that but instead of going down to the street on the on the left you want to take this uh, walkway up on the right and you'll see like this big ball container this tank a silo and then there's a bike at the bottom of it and then you just want to work your way up the steps right to the very top and then you'll find the dead body where the pants are there is also a purple shard on this person again I had to run away I think it only took me about four or five times this to get the stats that I wanted on it so yeah I got, an, I got a rate armor rating of 805 on these with full armadillo mods in there The last item we're going to be looking at is the hardened Netrunner boots with composite inserts. Now these remind me of a pair of Timberland boots that I actually own. <laughs> and I, I really like them. I think they look pretty cool, to be honest. Yeah, so you want to come out of the fast travel point at the luxury apartments. And as you can see on the map, it's there. It's, it's in the Charter Hill area. Once you come out of the fast travel point, you want to turn right, go down the street a bit, but look to your right as well, because you're going to be going down that street. Now, if you notice, there is a sloping roof. That's where you want to head to. So just be careful crossing the streets. And that's it. You're looking for them sloping roofs. And if you head towards them and just past them on your left hand side, you will see this area with a hatch open. And that's where you're heading to. Go down the hatch. You'll see a dead body outside the top of it, actually. Jump down into the hatch area. And then you'll see a dead net runner in the corner. And they'll be holding a skill shard and some ram jolt as well. So again, this took me about four or five attempts to get the one with the three expansion slots. So the armor rating on these boots after adding the epic armadillo mods is 805 and uh, you've noticed i've got a hairband as well and i do i do use johnny's coat as well uh, the replica samurai coat so i hope you enjoyed the video guys uh, please feel free to subscribe if you haven't don't forget to hit the notification bell give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and i'll see you next time peace out